Okay, and welcome back to Magpie Farm. Now we get to find out how about our no-till experiment. So we've done the potato row, we've done the onions, the onions have not been such a great success, I'll be honest, and there's another onion over there, Marios. Can you see it? Where? Thank you. Where? Let's not leave these onions go on, it's actually oh, yes. it's a natural yeah. onion. Yeah. <laughs> Buying from Asda's or <laughs> Carrefour, there's <laughs> no Asda's in Poland, or Carrefour, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Aldi's or Lidl's. Keep in mind I've not thinned these or done anything with them. Basically, apart from give them some extra water because they tend to be a bit water hungry. Okay. It's three smaller ones there, so I'm going to leave those in. Yeah, I'll yeah. give them those now. Yeah. That's a nice size one.
So hopefully they will be a uh, spring crop. size on that one. But you notice because it had the space around it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's something. That's what the space into it. Yeah, yeah. So that's basically uh, so it's, it's next time. Yeah. Actually yeah. Uh, thinning them out. Uh, it's probably a good idea then, even on the no-till area. Unless of course you want a lot of small ones, in which case don't thin them out. And that's the beetroot and the radish is done uh, and I'm actually going to take a cabbage today two out of the four or five cabbages we got here I've got good hearts on them but I'm only going to take one uh, and that's because I wanted for dinner today uh, I'm actually going to be uh, cooking a chicken dinner <laughs> and it's always nice to have a bit of cabbage and then we go on to the carrots first with the, no, food, okay. the cabbage if I could get it. <laughs> and that is a cabbage. Welcome back. We're on the carrot row. Uh, I don't know how well these are actually going to do because they were munched at quite a few times. I'm only going to do a couple. They may not actually be ready, but we will see. Okay. <laughs> not bad. Uh, our first carrot. <laughs> I hope that's not telling us something. <laughs>
Ja. Now a lot of these will be chopped up and uh, frozen, the large ones anyway. But the little bits can go to the uh, rabbits because they will like this. I think it's too late for fending out now. Well, it was easy to fend them out when they. Uh, yeah, when Mark told me you was going to be. Because it was just, you know, plucking whatever you want and replanting it while you're doing food. Well, some of them are not bad. This was a large one. Maybe whole carrots. <laughs> Again, they can be just frozen. And welcome back after a slight two minute break mm -hmm. of fetching all the veg over. We thought we would weigh with you uh, what we've achieved so far on the around 15 foot uh, for no till beds. Keep in mind that on the carrot no till bed, we've probably left about 40% of the carrots there. Plus, we've left a number of cabbages and radishes on the first no-till bed. It's quite warm and we've been working very hard today because we've also been mushroom picking, haven't we, this morning? Uh, so, excuse us if we just have a little <laughs> bit of a... <laughs> a little very light G&T. Okay, so let's start with the onions. Onions. Yeah, let's start with the onions. So what do we reckon these buckets weigh? No, no, what do you reckon? Six kilograms. Six kilograms. What well, do you say? I've got it on pounds at the moment. 
Okay, so we'll do pounds first, pounds and ounces. Okay, so 7.2 pounds of onions. So we'll change it now. Oh, it's only 3.2 kilograms. Oh, well, there we are then. Okay, 3.2. Let's go back to uh, pounds and ounces. There we go. So seven pounds and two. Um, how many was that in kilos, did you say? 3.2. 3.2. So what's next? Carrots? Okay, the carrots. There's only carrots in there, isn't there? In that case, they also have to be a little bit over three kilograms. Okay. What? 13 pounds <laughs> six. Oh, that's six kilos. off that as you go along. <laughs> okay now this may not work because it may be too heavy for the scales. Oh, oh no it's no. 18 point, point what 15? What's that? Eight and a quarter pounds. Just under twenty-one pounds in beetroot. A pound is not stone. Okay. Yes. Stone is a lot, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's thirteen pounds as a stone. Okay. Okay. And last but not least, let's weigh the mushrooms. Why not? Since we did mushrooms as well isn't today. Cool, but maybe light. Uh, eight. Eight. Just over eight pounds. 3.6 kilograms. And 3.6 kilograms. Yeah. So the grand, the grand total, Marosh, is 65 pounds in weight of veg. It's including the leaves, admittedly, of veg from the four no-tails rows of around 15 feet. Is it much, 65? Well, 65. Uh, in kilograms. Oh, okay. 29 kilograms. Yeah, don't 29 and a half kilograms. So that's 29 and a half kilograms or 65 pounds. Not bad at all. So I'm quite happy with that. I'm sure you'll agree that's not bad. So I think they would be classes of success, would you reckon? Well, given us, we didn't expect that. Well, we didn't expect anything near that. And keep in mind as well, the beetroots have already been harvested twice as well. And preserved. Yeah, yeah and preserved already. So that's not bad at all. So I think that's uh, a pretty good success. I think we could have done better on the potatoes, personally. I think they should have been left a bit longer. But you tell us what you think when you see the video. Should we have left those potatoes in a bit longer? There was a lot of small potatoes. Is, Is that 65 normal pounds a lot for the I four rows? You tell us. Please tell us what you think. Please. With the potatoes. Is that normal with no On the small size. You tell us. Because please. they were half a bit really too early. stupid. So Again, please, please tell us what you think in the comments please. below. And this is the fruit of mine and Mariosh's labours of the no-till beds at Magpie Farm. 
I think you'll agree it's been a success for the first time experiment and thank you for watching I really hope you've enjoyed this video mm -hmm.